of hell prevail over your church in the name of Jesus. The church is marching on. The gate of hell will not prevail over her in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray one more prayer that Lord, the Bible says in Joel 2, 28, it says that it will pour out his spirit on the last day upon all flesh. That Lord, whatsoever you are doing, because I say he will call the remnant unto himself. That Lord, let me not be missing out out of those that you, are, you have to work with in this end time. That Lord, let me not be missing out as part of the remnants that you have to work with in this end time. That Lord, count me among the remnants. Let me be part of the remnants. He said, for the great revival will come, that even in this last day, he will pour out his spirit upon our flesh. He will pour out his spirit upon the remnants. That, Lord, let me not be missing out. Let this church not be missing out. In the name of Jesus, and each and every one of us who are at the church, that, Lord, let me be part of what you are doing in this time, in this period, in the name of Jesus. Let me be part of what you are doing in the name of Jesus. Let me be part of the move. Let me be part of the grace. Let me be part of what you are doing in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, let me be part in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me be part in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me be part in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me be part in the name of Jesus. Let me be part of what you are doing. Let me be part of your move. Let me be part of, 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 the, of, the, so, of the end time soldiers in the name of Jesus, the end time army in the name of Jesus. Let me not fall out. Let me not fail. Let me not miss it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, me so Holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy are you. according to the words of our mouth this morning and let your name be glorified in Jesus name we pray Amen let's lift those hands unto God and let's begin to worship him let's bless him in the beauty of his holiness happy Sunday happy first Sunday in the month of October we bless the Lord who has made us start this journey and has brought us thus far. Many people have died. Many people are still dying. And many people will still die. The Lord, who has been gracious to us, will continue to be gracious to us. Will continue to be merciful unto us. In the name of Jesus. Let's worship God in the beauty of His holiness. Whether you are sitting or you are standing, just take a posture in your spirit. Let your spirit be connected. Hallelujah. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. This 
much less love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Oh, who is like you, Lord? much less love and beauty and less war and there is nothing nothing in this world can satisfy my soul because Jesus you are the cup that never runs dry so your prayer
Mighty Father, King of creation, you want me to go, yeah. You want my yeah, Baba, you want me to go, yeah. 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 Mighty Father, King of creation, you want me to go, yeah. You will, the Lord is worthy. You will know Lord is worthy, mighty Father, King of creation. You will know Lord is worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You will know Lord is worthy, mighty Father. But I at a rumble. You are the one that we adore. You all about I at a rumble. You are the one that we adore. King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus Christ, Ogaogo. I told Farati, be okay. You are worthy of all our praise. You 
will no Lord is worthy. You will no Lord is worthy. Mighty Father, King of creation, you will no Lord is worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You will no Lord is worthy. Mighty Father, King of creation, you are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. Invisible God, the miracle worker. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, O Lord. Oh, 
Jesus lives, only Jesus reigns. There is none beside him, and there is none that can be like him, and there is no other power that can contend with his power. Oh, Mesh Sobina, let's lift those hands, let's wave those hands to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Just go ahead, just go ahead and worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, we give you the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Oh, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Daily as I live, often as I breathe. Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Oh, I cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. I cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Cry, Abba.
Sunday, everyone. First Sunday of the month of October. We have two more months to go. How many of you know we can pray and miss? That you keep praying for something for 50 years and you never get them. But you can praise and worship in 30 minutes and you will, it will be released unto you. I mean, if I'm lying, you can tell me. So when it's time for praise and worship, it's a time of serious business. I don't know about you. Every of my issues that have been solved came when I was worshiping God. I'm telling you, my breakthroughs, loud, clearly, loud and clear, I can hear them. But I've been praying for the same thing for years and nothing happens. John 4, 24 said, those that must worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So let's make it a habit. Happy Sunday, everyone. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to preach. We are grateful to God. First Sunday in October, and you and I and our families, everything we came into this year, we're still standing. I think, you know, it, it, I don't know, a shout of praise, crazy praise. We, we just need to give unto God today. It's not a time to be reclusive and, you know, arms folded. And we still have so many days to go. So if your miracle has not happened, maybe you need to, you're doing something wrong. Worship. Sing praise unto God. Let's not come with the attitude that we are not. I know I'm not going on the same today. I know that without a shadow of a doubt. So when you come into church, come with an expectation. And your expectation shall be met today in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let's go to our announcements. Weekly services. Our Sunday school is from 10 to 11 a.m. Sunday worship is from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible studies at 7.30 p.m. Our monthly service is second Friday of the month is our prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is our only communion service. Every last Friday is our night vigil. One Saturday of the month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. You actually, I believe everyone is going to dance today. I'm telling you. First Sunday of October. Two months will be in 2022. Like I said last week, if there's nothing you want to rejoice about, just thank God for me that I'm still standing. You don't even have to, de- just on my behalf, just dance. Thank you. Blessing time. Amen. Offering time. Our cash app is fcministry at yahoo.com. Our PayPal is fcministry at yahoo.com. Our Zell is 2405932570. I will always say this. The secret to wealth. I'm not talking of you getting rich. The secret to wealth is by giving. I'm telling you, if you can get this fact, you will never lack anything. And we are now talking to give to the king of kings. Let's rise up as we give unto the Lord cheerfully.
just begin to lift our voice and just begin to thank the Lord and just give thanks to Him. Let's thank Him for all what He has done for us. I want us to appreciate Him. Let's give thanks to the one that is worthy to receive all our praise. Let's thank Jesus for His goodness. Lord, You are good. You are great in our life. Let us begin to thank him and give thanks to the Lord for what he has done in your life. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's thank him. Oh, let's thank him. Let's worship him. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give that honor to your name. Let's thank him. Let's give that praise to him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord, you are excellent. Lift your voice and just worship him, exhort him. Father, we thank you, Lord. Jesus, you are come, my God. Father, you are good to me. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. We exalt you. We magnify you. Let's thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Just appreciate you. Have a seat quickly in the presence of God. 
I just want to know that every one of us, I always say this, I will say it again, God owns us nothing. You are the one that owed him a lot. God owns you nothing. You are the one that owned God a lot. When this morning, some people have passed on. Some people have died this morning. Why God is sustaining you? Are you better than those people? Or God needs me more than God is need, God needs me. I know he needs you, but he sustained you to his own glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for us to give thanks to God, we need just to think of, of his goodness. Our soul, our body, everything, our, our life has to praise him. This morning, I'm not here to preach, just to share a word with you. And we go into thanksgiving and we thank the Lord. Hallelujah. But quickly, you can just open your Bible to Psalm 116. Psalm 116, verse 12. Verse 12 to 14. Psalm 116, verse 12. And I want everybody just to look at it very well. And I want us to pay attention to this. And let us read. He say, what shall I render unto to the Lord? For what? For all his benefit towards me. Let's read this one again. What shall I render unto the Lord? For all his benefit towards me. How many of you that you have that that there's a benefit of God that you are enjoying? How many of you believe that? Do you believe that? I don't think we believe that. Now he's asking us that he is a, is, is now is a man of thinking now. This world is a man of just sitting down and saying, now what can I do for God? For what he has done for me? What can I give back to God? For all what he has done in my life. He's a, he he calls us to think. He calls our attention. You know, to every one of us. Whether you are trusting God for more or you are believing God for miracle, but it also asks you to think very well. I realize that in your situation where you are thinking, um, oh, I, I, I still need, I don't have a food. That maybe you are believing God for certain thing and you are not there yet. You find someone that is almost also lower that in that is not in your position. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me use this. As you want to come out of your own position, that I don't want this position anymore. That even though you are look, you are you can see somebody that still in your in not in your position at all. That still praying to be where you are, even though you want to move out of where you are, but you still find somebody praying God. If you can still take me out of this situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he's telling us. Say now. Let's think. He said what shall I render. Unto the Lord. For all. His benefit. Towards me. Now think very well. Let's reverse it back. Now he said what can I do? You are thinking. This act, what you want to do. Now, let us put, what am I giving him now for what he has done for me? Praise the Lord. Do you think God don't want it? Hello? Do you think God don't want what you want to give to him? No. He want it. He want what we want to give to him. He, he said, what shall I render? Every one of us, think where you are, think where you are today. Today is a Thanksgiving day. A Thanksgiving day makes us to think, you know, make us to look back and see again what God has done for us. And that's why God wants us to be appreciative. That's why I say, when you are coming to me, you come with Thanksgiving in your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, many of us, we have not yet entered where we are not there yet because we don't have a Thanksgiving heart before the Lord. That's why the doors has not yet opened for us. Praise the Lord. He certainly he demands it. That's why the angels worship him and thank him. If you say God has not done anything for you, oh, you have a good health. 
If somebody is sick today, you know where you are. He said, what shall I render unto the Lord? Is what is the man is thinking. For all that what he has done for me, what can I give back to God? And listen, when you are giving back, he also is giving you more. You don't know that? Why the Bible says give and it shall be given back to you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's going to press down and shaking together and running over. The same thing when you give your praise back to him, he, he begin to give you things of more praise to him. Praise the Lord. He said, what shall I render unto God for all what he has done for your children? What he has done in your family? What he has done in your marriage? What he has done for you in this country? What he has done for you in the place of work? What she has done for you when you are young. Sometimes when I look back, I look back. I praise God when I was in primary school. You know, just look back to everything. The journey of your life where you are today. Because when you begin to give thanks to God. You are accessing to more blessing of your life. He said, what can I give back to the God that have saved me? He said, what? let's think. What uh, can I give back to God that have delivered me? What can I give back to God that have opened my eyes to know him? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many of us, you know, appreciate where you are, where you are sitting. Clap for, yourself. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> appreciate that seat where you are. Praise the Lord. What's this seat? Come on, Pastor, what kind of seat is this? Oh, do you know some people don't know? They don't have that privilege at all. You don't know that? You don't know. Some people don't have that privilege of knowing Jesus. And it's true, Jesus Christ is the only way. I mean, they have missed out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If Jesus is true, the only way, which I believe is, is the one that some people have totally missed out. That's why the Bible said many are called. You are part of those God has opened eyes to know. I mean one step ahead. Now it's another step to follow him now. Hallelujah. Yeah. That means he has opened your eyes to know him. He said, what can I render for my salvation? What can I render for the blessing? What can I render that God has been there for you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you hear the news. What about this person? Is this person has passed on. They are the same age with you. Hallelujah. What about this? They are no more. Now, he said, what can I render to this God that is looking at my life? God has given me more time. Showing more love for me. That he always there. Praise the Lord. He's always there for us. Never there with us according to our measure of our sin. If God is marking iniquity, nobody will stand here. Even the pastor himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To that God that is so patient over us. That loves us so much that he cares for us. He said, what can I render to him? What can I render that God has been there that opened doors for me? That opened the doors for my life? That show me more love? What can I give to this God? Are, are you not thinking about it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, that means if any one of us is not thinking, what can I give back to God? I mean, we are not grateful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we are not giving back to God, we are not thinking about what can I do for God? What can I render back to God? Listen, the man that said this, he looked, at, he looked back to where that God has brought him and said, now, what can I give back to this God for what he has done for me? Listen, it's, it's worth thinking about. It's worth thinking about. It's worth thinking. It's worth finding daily. What do you want to give to him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, but pastor, I'm believing God for more. I trust God for more. But thank him for where you are so he can take you where you are going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What I say you should do? Thank him for where you are. So he can take you where you are going. 
You know, when you are not thanking him where you are today, there is no way out to where you are going. Because in your praise, in your thanksgiving, that's why he's taking you to where you are going. That's why he said, enter his gate with thanksgiving. His court is what? With praise. He said, make known of his deeds. Psalm 105 verse 1. He said, make known of God's deed. Praise the Lord. What I say is you should do what to do. Make known what God has done for you. Many of us will put what God has done to our pocket. Even though we don't really recognize that God is the one that has done it for us. Hallelujah. And now we come to conclusion. I'm so lucky. I'm so unique. I'm so special. In what way are you special? Praise the Lord. If you are not special in him, you are not special. You're, you should boast. You see, I should boast. I should boast in what? In Christ. Oh, so do I, I, I'm so lucky. What kind of luck? There's nothing called luck. For, for what I say, you should forget about it. Do, do like this. X, cancel, do no cancel. There's nothing called luck. The man is so lucky. No, there's nothing called luck. That means God, God Almighty ordered the step of you. I, I know that, that there's nothing called luck. The Bible told me, no one received anything except God. God in heaven give it to you. I'm the brightest one. I'm so knowledgeable. No. Heaven gives something to you. Whether you don't recognize it, that is heavenly works in your life. It's heavenly doing in our life. There's nothing called luck. He order your step to it. The even though unbeliever is that not God that rain, rain upon unbeliever and unbeliever, he ordered their step to it. He said, walk now, walk and I render. Look at it very well. He say, let's everybody read. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. Make known the deed. Have you, are you making known what God has done for you? He said, make known. God is one. Ah, my brother, it's God has set me. It's not only by, I'm going to, not only by saying alone. Listen, I say everybody can talk. What am I saying? I'm talking now, it's cheap. Talk is what? God don't want to talk. He said, we should make known of God's deeds. Let's go back to 116. 16, let's see what the man says he's going to do. He say, I will lift up the cup of my salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. He say, I will lift up what he's going to do to you. He says he's going to do what? In verse 13. He say, I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on his name of the Lord. He said, this is what I'm going to do to you. He say, I will lift up the cup of salvation I mean, everything about God, I'm going to lift it up. Praise the Lord. That everything about God, I'm going to praise him. Everything about God that have brought me far to this place, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to give honor to him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will lift up my cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Let's see in verse 14. What he's going to do. And I will fulfill my vow. To the law. He's going to do what? I will fulfill my vow. Before the Lord. In the presence of what? Of his people. Do you have a vow before the Lord? Ask yourself. And the Bible told us. Make me to know that. Don't say before an angel that it's, it's an error. Sometimes many of us will make an vow and you come back again. I regret saying that. Praise the Lord. He said, You better don't say that before the angels of God, that you will not throw the works of your hands away. We make a vow. Ah, that's why I don't really believe one thousand years. Sometimes after you finish one thousand, twenty thousand, and now you call twenty dollars. See my God. Go when there is twenty dollar. Hallelujah. Now you, you now you make say, oh, I regret. He said, you, you never said that before the Lord. The vow that you have made that you're going to give, that I regret doing this. 
He said, you better don't say it before the angels that he will not throw the, work of, the works of your hand away. What the man said, he said, I'm going to pay the vow of my life. What is your, Anna is so very, she's so intelligent. She knew that, ah, if Samuel should stay, wait a little one more year or three years, probably don't want to give the boy up to pay the vow. He asked, let me take that boy. He took him right away, even when the boy was so young, because he has made a vow before the Lord. What is your own vow? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is my vow? And what is your vow? Do you think God has forget about your vow? Many of us would think so. That God has forget about my vow. God don't think about it anymore. Listen. He's looking at it. He's waiting for you to pay your vow. He said, I will fulfill what I've said that I'm going to do for him. I will fulfill what I've said I'm going to give to him. I will fulfill my service before him. In the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the presence of what? Listen. Today is a Thanksgiving Sunday. Let's, let's give that thanks back to him. Let's pay our vow before the Lord. Let's render what he demands from us. Look at it very well. Don't think that God ignore what you want to render to him. Hallelujah. Let's look at it. Uh, let's just look at this very scripture. Open your Bible to Proverbs chapter, no, Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. We all know about the, uh, Jesus talked about the talent. God gave a talent to one. He gave one. He gave two. And he gave five. But the one said, oh, I'm afraid of you that I can't able to do it well. So I went over to hide your, I went over to do what for you? Please read it very well. Say it. If you are reading your Bible, like, complete it for me. He said, I went over to hide your talent. I hide it for you because you know that you are a man, that you are want to get things where you don't sow. Praise the Lord. That you do, you want to get where you what? He said to that man, you want to get where you don't so. Hallelujah. And let's read what the man told him. The man told him, it's better for you to put that my money in the bank to eat a more for me. Praise the Lord. He told him, it's better to put, to eat it, to put it in the bank to eat more for me. Let's look at it. He said, one, he gave five. Let's, he say, let, let's look at it. He said, so that, that's about your thanks also. It also includes. And he went and took on the way on his journey, verse 16. Go to him. And then he has received the five talent, went and what? Trade. He trade five, so he gained more. The one with two also trade, he gained more. Let's look at the one with one. The one said, but he, he that has received one went and give in earth and hide the Lord money. What he has done for you, you don't want them to know is what God has done for you. You don't want to make use of your talent for the Lord. That's what the Lord said to him. Because all what God has given to you, you're going to give account to the penny. Hallelujah. Let's go for that. He said, after a long time, let's, let, let's go back there. He said, so that he... After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and what? Revoked with them. He, he said, Let's now, what ought have brought you through school? You are a graduate, you are a this. Not only that, I gave you family, I do everything for you. Um, you are eating very good, you are looking good. Now, come and tell me about those things. Oh, you think it's about talent alone that your. your Speaking in tongues, you're talking about not only that, everything that he has given to you. Hello? Yeah. All what God has given to you money. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Money. Uh, everything. Family. Everything that has given to you, he has given as a gift to you. He has committed those things. Say, now, 
come and give account to me of everything. Let's look at what the man said so that he has to receive the five talents. Go for that. I just want to go to that reward of 21. He gave, he gave them one. He gave that one more, more, more. Let's go for that. He said, the Lord said to the one, I want to do what he said to the one. Two, he has more. He could have two more. Let's go for that, 23. And the Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. For I have been faithful over few things that I will make thee rulers of many things. What makes you to be a ruler of big things? Praise the Lord. What makes God to, going to give you $20 when you have $1? Come on, church. Answer me. Come on. What God will make you to, to give you $20 when you have $1? Faithfulness on the $1, it gives you $20. Have you ever seen somebody going to promote you at the place of work? Your faithfulness at a gate man can make you to be a manager. So, so see, life is a principle. Life is, sometimes we want to shake, shake off the principle. But the main core of life is a principle. Principle will lead you to many places in life. Just follow the principle. You get to a place where you are going. It, it, it's very clear. He told us, what makes you to, he said, he told him, if you are faithful in little, praise the Lord, he's going to, if our church is faithful in little, maybe he's going to give us more. Praise the Lord. He said, Lord, maybe I have not yet not faithful in little. Praise God. So, hallelujah. No, 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 people are laughing. No, it's probably true. Praise the Lord. If you're faithful in what you have committed to your end, he gives more to you. So the, the key to life of blessing, of more, is when what he has given to you, you are doing it well. Let's look at it. He said, many things enter to those joy of the Lord. Let's go, f let's, what, uh, let's see what the account of the one. And then, which have received one talent, came and said, I knew that thou art the hard man, reaping where thou hast not sowed, gathering where thou hast not what? Sweet it, Hallelujah. Now he's telling the boss, I know that you listen very well. All what you have done for me, I have done it by myself. Why you want, why, why I want to give anything to you? Why I want to give my time to you, God? And now what he said to him. I was afraid, and I went and hid that talent in the earth. And then the house, the hallelujah, go verse 20, 26. And the Lord said to, and the Lord answered and said unto him, thou, let's look at it, Thou wicked and what? Sorrowful servant. Thou knowest I never reap where I never sow not. You know that I always get things where I never put. Huh. You know that I'm giving you all this, but I'm the one giving it to you, right? Do you know that? Let's go for that. And gather where thou have not planned. So if thou could have, therefore, have put my money into the what? An exchanger. And then at my coming, I shall have received my own word. Let me say one thing. I mean, the owner expects certain things in our lives. Simple as it may seem. All what God has given to you, God expects certain things back from you. That's what I just want to let you know. All what God has given to us, he expects back. He expect a return. Listen, even to your children, they want back. You want them back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What I say? Even to your children, you, God want them back for himself. Your money, he want it back for you. And, the, and when you are giving it back, what is going to give to you? Hello? Answer me. When you give back to him, he's going to give you what? More simple as it may seem. He said, What shall I render to this God that saved me, that brought me? What shall I render to this God that has been keeping me? What shall I render to this God that has been healing me? What I have been God, even though I'm not good, even though I'm bad, but He overlook and I'm still protecting my life. Listen, I realized. In life, 
I don't know when I was beginning to, I began to see that um, life is beyond what I think and God owed me nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who will question God about your life? You do whatever you want to and listen. That's why you need to return all the glory back to him. Let's rise and return on our feet. And I want you to know, let you know like a man like David he said and David say you return this back to God and David said no he said to that king no I insist on paying for you he said no you can take this thing um, cheaply it's very cheap just take it and, uh, and take it for yourself and use it for your life for your God and David said, no, 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 no. I will not sacrifice to the Lord. To the Lord my God. I will not sacrifice to the Lord my God. Born offering that cost me nothing. Praise the Lord. What did the man say? I will not give God anything that don't take anything out of me. That's sacrifice. You see, I'm not going to give God, I'm not going to worship God. What will not, you know, at my own convenient time, at any time, I'm not going to give to God my money that will not cost me anything. And this is the life that Christ wants us to live. A place of thanksgiving That's a thanksgiving that you can render to God. Your time, your life. And by no means, you are losing anything. Praise the Lord. You are not losing anything. What did I say? You are not missing out of anything, out of God's benefit. You probably look like that. Listen, you say, I'm not going to give God, I'm not going to sacrifice God to God. What will not cost me anything? Even if people are saying this, people are saying this. That's why we said in the Bible study, in the school today, we focus on Jesus. He said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give to God what will not, that will not take anything out of me. It will not take anything out of my life. He said, No. Because when that thing is a place where God will pour the blessing. Praise the Lord. Let's be out of thanksgiving to God. Say, what can I render to God for all what he has done for me? He said, I will call upon the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I will make known of his deed. Listen, he has done something for you. He has done something for me. Where you are last year, you are not there today. Do you know how many people have died by COVID-19? But you are still standing Hallelujah. Not only about COVID-19. You know how many people living on the street? They don't wish to be, but you have a roof over your head. Also, you look at your fridge. There's a food there, even though you throw away. Hallelujah. In America, you throw away. Sometimes, I don't want to see all these children. I don't want to eat anything. I look at them. <laughs> if somebody, even before I say, eh, they finish the chicken. Hallelujah. And it's true. Starvation all over. And you are eating enough. Hallelujah. What can you render to God? That he has done all this for you. You pick up a car, tomorrow you're going to go to a place of work. Some people don't have a place to go. But you still have a place to go. Even though you are trusting God for more. Hallelujah. Say, Father, I thank you. Just appreciate him. Just give great. Render back that thanks to him. Lord, I thank you for what you have done for me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I'm very so. Shout, shout, hallelujah, praise God, oh, save me, when I think 
Showing me that padlock. He said, What well, do you know? Do you see that thing? Why well, that thing is still locked? Hallelujah. He said, Do you see why that thing is still locked? Because there is no time given. Father, help us, oh God. Even including me also. Sometimes when you're tired, you just look at yourself. <sighs> I can remember somebody who said, Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Hallelujah. talking to everybody, even though you're me. Father, that thanks act, that act of thanksgiving to acknowledge you're doing in your presence where we are, where we are taking us, O oh God. Father, give unto us in Jesus' name. The grace of thanksgiving that opened this, the spirit of God, of government of praise, ah, that opened that whatever that have been locked, Holy Spirit, let it rest upon this church. Rest upon everyone. So we can receive the fullness of what you want to give to us. So our doors can be opened in the name of Jesus. Father, give us that heart of thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. Give us that heart to be able to pay our vow. To render our vow. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name. We pray. Shout that a big hallelujah to God. Shout it very louder. You can give him as a number of perfection. Give him seven. Hallelujah. So, you that see this October, you will see the next year one too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You that see this one in October, you will see the one next year. Yeah. You will see beyond the next year one. Yeah. So, to, if your to, month, this month is your birthday or your anniversary, let us come quickly before the children come. So, I pray for them. So, it's, to this month is your birthday. So let us come quickly and give thanks to God. I thank unto the Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I render unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch my breath. I was dancing. I was away. <laughs> I just want to bless the name of the Lord for another year. Uh, Wednesday is, is, is my birthday. I just want to give glory to Almighty God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just want to thank the Lord for, as well, Wednesday is going to be my birthday. And the Lord, add another year. I thank him for keeping me, preserving me, protecting me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We just thank the name of the Lord for their life. Especially for her also and her. I can remember, even though it's a boy, the name of the boy is going to be Mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the vow that I made before the Lord that any child that will first come out of me, his name is going to be Mercy. Hallelujah. You know, I can remember when we talk about vow. I can remember I took her to Nigeria. And that mountain I prayed, I took her there. She's still young. I took her back there. That, oh, I return back to you. Listen, let's pay our vow before the Lord. I can remember at the, at the airport on that day, I'm just saying you. She was following me. I'm the one going with her at the Dulles Airport. If anything happened in anything, I will go to that Dulles Airport. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I will just just if anything happened, I will just take me to that Dulles Airport because there's something that took place in that Dulles Airport. I said, Lord, I came to this country alone and I'm going back. Uh, hallelujah. And I hear the voice of God clearly. Say this will happen for you. Hallelujah. So if anything want to happen, I say, just if I can get to take me to that dollar airport. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it's good to pay our vow before the Lord. And also, Father, we thank you for their life, O oh God, for what you have done for them. Let the grace of you continue in their life in Jesus' name. Daddy, bless them, O oh God. Increase them in knowledge, O oh God. Favor them in the name of Jesus. And what is ahead of our oh God? Father, complete it, O oh God. Amen. What is ahead of our Father, finish it, O oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not struggle to enter your place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. At ease you enter. At ease you enter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let your grace be upon them, O oh God. And let your blessing continue with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.
about to you. Let our praise be acceptable in your sight, O God. Daddy, let our praise be acceptable in your sight, O God. Father, she has returned the glory back to you, God. Daddy, bless our more. Increase our in your grace, O God. Let your favor rest on our in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You can go. And before the general thanksgiving, or maybe the children should come first, uh, I can remember, let's bring all the children before the Lord and give thanks to God. Let's pray and give them the song and let them come quickly before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. I found Omega. You are worthy to be praised in all generations. There is no one like you. I found Omega. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. The owner of my soul. this one, let your grace rest upon them. Let your mercy rest upon them. We have returned them back to you, what you have given unto us. We have returned them back to you of your word in our life, of your faithfulness, of your word. In our, that be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Now I pray that your grace rest on them, O God, that your wisdom rest upon them in the name of Jesus. They will grow in your knowledge. In the name of Jesus. They will not depart from you. We will not cry over anyone. Those that are here. Those that are not here. We will not mourn over anyone. In the name of Jesus. Satan will not use them as instrument to trouble our life. In the name of Jesus. There will be a children of the kingdom. Of a great king. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Go in the strength of God. Go and possess this land. Go and overtake. And to the one that trusts in you for one, Father, give unto them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your money, put your money there. Put your money there. Hallelujah. God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. I know quickly our time is fast spent. Praise the Lord. I know we have a thanksgiving today to everyone. Everyone have, you can go help children. We have a thanksgiving today. Every one of us, we have, have to give thanks to God. Praise the Lord. If you say God has not done anything for you, maybe you have not think deeply. Praise the Lord. Some people are feeling on a bed. They can't wake
wake up anymore. Have you ever heard that? Some people went to bed and they can't wake up anymore. And that's the end. Some people have passed on in accident, that's it. But even though you are trusting God for more of certain things, I know which God is going to do for you. Let's give that thanks for what he has done for us and praise him for what he has done. Let the choir, let him give us a song and let us come and give our thanks before the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is upon my soul. And I dance like it is
Hallelujah. But we are not dancing. I just left my uncle few, uh, four minutes ago. And I can still sing. He's trying to strong. Why will you be in the presence of God? This is all he can give him. Nobody is dancing. Dance unto the Lord. We are all debtors. We are owing God. It could be this dance you are owing. Hallelujah. Daddy, please permit me one minute. I'm going to sing in my language. Hallelujah. Pardon me. I'm trying to gather myself. I love the uncle that trained me in school. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we wave our hands to Jesus? Because you know you are a debtor. This is all you owe him. choice or you don't have choice. God wants your thanks. Because in one way or the other, he has done good for you. But he has given us a good cause to thank him. Let's look from the journey of our life to give praise to him. Father, we return all the glory back to you for what you have done. We thank you for the journey of this month. That we have the full assurance that you will help us to finish well. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the plan that you have for us. That your plan will surely come to pass. Let it be that exalted in Jesus' name. Now, I want to ask God, tell the Lord, by this, by this time, November, Lord, I want to be in this place. I want you to do this for me. This is what I want to see. The God that you are in his presence, you can do it. So ask God for what you need. Let's put him to work. Is it concerning work of my hand for mine to be made? Tell him. God can make a prisoner, a prime minister in the next day. God can make a place where there's famine, where there's no hope, and make it a place of abundance the next day. God can make the one that have dead, that even though he's thinking, their hope is lost. The family have gave up on him. They have buried him and made him to come back to life again. That's the same God is still alive. Ask him for what you need for your life. Tell him what you want. Say, Lord, I want this. Lord, I want you to do this for me. Father, I want to see the power of your name. I want to see the power of your service coming to your presence. Father, do it for your people, God. Let it act into their flesh. Let them have their testimony of it. 
and surely will return all the glory back to you. So shall it be unto you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. No deny, no more delay. Upon that your request, receive it in Jesus' name. You will have a testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And just put in mind our weekly service. Listen, one thing that the weekly service will do for you, it will, it, the word of God will make you to closer to God. It will reduce the power of flesh in you. It helps you. Even when I was listening to David Jeremiah, even though he says when you are bad, when they say, even though when you are bad, that you are doing the wrong thing, what you don't run away is the word of God. Praise the Lord. He said, how can a man clean his way to speak the word? Even though if you are a bad person, say, oh, I'm a bad person, what you don't do, run away from the word of God. Never do that. Because the word of God is the one that will cleanse you out of that your weakness. Praise the Lord. That's how powerful the word of God. He said, even though you, do, even though you are not doing, you are, you, are, you are doing the right thing, and you are not doing the right thing, just stick with that word. Just begin to put that word in you. Before you know, you will become what God wants you to become. Hallelujah. But if you move away from the word of God, you are moving away so far. That's how powerful the word of God will do to us. How power the presence of God will do. Even though you are bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad person. Don't run away. That's what you don't run away. Move closer, I'm bad, move closer. I'm bad, move closer. Before you know, that word will change your life. When I hear that word, I say, oh my God. Hallelujah. He said, what will change the life of a man is the word. What will bring the good out of you is the word. Praise the Lord. So give your time for that word. There's a time on Bible study on Wednesday. Time for fellowship. Just get yourself in. Get yourself in. And open heart. And before you know you are empowered. Before you know you are powerful. You know that you are now you are strong. In your weakness. The Lord will help us in Jesus name. The Lord will help us in Jesus name. So just put in time. Also on Thursday we are praying for the church. Um, I just joined to pray for the church. The church need the prayer. And when you are praying for the church, you are praying for yourself. And I know the Lord Jesus Lord will help us to do this. As we are giving our service before the Lord, we will not tire, we will not weary. Your service before the Lord shall have a reward. Say that amen louder. I said your service before the Lord shall have a reward. You will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. Father, as we are going, go with us, O God. Let your grace of favor follow us. Let us return with a great testimony. And let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's share the grace together. But the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and his faithful Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life. And we should join the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? hallelujah. Can you give you one more? Hallelujah. Shout that hallelujah. hallelujah. You are blessed. Tell somebody congratulations. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed.